Hi everyone, uh, my name is Erica and I'm bringing you a video today. I wanted to share my absolute frustration with having non-inflammatory acne. And I feel like I needed to make this video because I have not been able to find a goddamn video on my skin issue, which is so frustrating because I've had to trial and error products that have just not worked for me and uh, if anything, I've spent way too much money and I've actually probably made my skin worse or I don't know, just things have not worked out very well for me. Um, and another disclaimer, I don't know how to fucking edit videos, so if you are going to be dumb about that and comment about how I don't know how to edit videos, I really don't care because I'm providing a video that I really hope can help other people who are dealing with the same issue. Okay. Um, so I felt like I really needed to make this video after a yoga session, so that's why I'm really sweaty. But anyways, let's just get into it now. Um, so about two years ago, um, I started noticing a different type of acne. I always dealt with like the more inflammatory acne where you're getting like pustules and stuff, so like that's what these are, which are popped. I pop my pimples, I don't care. Um, so I started dealing with acne that were more pustule form, like inflammatory. But my main problem, and I discovered that my skin's been weird um, as of like two, two and a half years ago, is I have something called non-inflammatory acne or closed comedones. That's what I've kind of self-prescribed myself with after researching like crazy. So the only way to describe it is if I wash my face, I can feel hundreds upon hundreds of these little bumps underneath my skin and although you can't technically see them you can see them in certain light and if I put makeup on like damn you can see them and it's really bad and the thing that frustrates me the most is that like I can't really do anything about them it's not like you have a pimple and you can pop it and then it will dry up and it will go away and I know that there might be a scab but like the scab and then the scar will go away over time and if you put makeup on it you can actually cover it up but these bumps you can't cover up because they're raised bumps on the skin so um, I did a little bit of an experiment in the summer and um, I started to eliminate all sugars from my diet I started to eliminate all dairy from my diet and I started to eat a lot of vegetables and um, incorporating uh, fish, like omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids into my diet. And I found that the bumps started to go away, but they weren't all gone. Um, so I've been kind of trying to find some stuff um, to help me with this issue. So what I wanted to do first is I wanted to kind of go through some products that I've used that if you have this problem, these will not work for you. So please don't waste your money on these things. Okay, first of all, I I purchased the fucking PMD and that did nothing for me. That was about $150 that I spent that it did absolutely nothing for this problem. Um, it might help with hyperpigmentation or wrinkles or whatever else it claims, but for the comedonal acne, um, that I have these little bumps all over my skin, which you can't visibly see in the camera. Yeah, you can't see them The PMD will not help that okay, and another thing that I've tried is um, I tried doing like kind of like a natural Skin thing. I've tried eminence products. I've tried hemp seed oil. I've tried the oil cleansing method um, I was not I was on kind of natural face products for about a year, and I think that didn't do anything for the problem where it actually might have made it worse. So natural products, I'm sorry, but they're not going to help the issue. Um, at least, I don't know, maybe they will, but I'm trying to figure out what's, this is, I'm trying to tell you what hasn't worked for me. Okay, um, another thing that um, has not worked, and I recently went to Sephora over the Christmas break and I bought this kit and it did nothing for me, actually. And it did nothing for my inflammatory acne either, which is what it's actually supposed to help. Um, I got a tester kit come from Kate Somerville um, and I'm returning this to Sephora. I just did not find it worked at all. So it came with um, a couple things. So the first thing it came with was this cleanser. 
So this one right here is the daily detox or the detox daily cleanser. That didn't do shit. Um, this is the exfolicate. I like this, but it didn't do shit. Um, this lotion, like a regular lotion, didn't do anything. And what I'm most disappointed about is this. The Eradicate, it didn't do anything. I would put it on a popped pimple. I also would put it on a pimple that I didn't pop. And it didn't dry it up. So that was pointless. This was $68 that I wasted my money on. But thank God that Sephora has a good return policy and I am going to return that and buy something else. So, um, another thing as well that... Um, I, didn't, I, I don't find it's helping with this issue. Maybe it's helping with pig, hyperpigmentation. Um, the Body Shop Drops of Youth. I don't see a difference at all in my skin with this. Um, I'm going to use it up because I have it, but I don't know. Maybe it works for another problem, but if you have acne, it's not going to do anything. Okay. Um, what else? I am going to show you some products that... I found have helped the um, closed comedones a bit. They have helped a lot. Um, I would suggest this, the Peter Thomas Roth glycolic acid 10%. I have found that this has helped and um, I've been researching um, different like acids like the AHAs and the BHAs and all that stuff. Um, I don't think you ha you don't have to get the Peter Thomas Roth one. That's just the one that I use, and I liked it because I it, there's a big bottle, um, and I wanted a big bottle, you know, just so I don't have to go out and buy it again. Like, just convenient. Um, but I know that I know that Neostrata sells glycolic acid in ten percent as well, so you could totally go buy that as well. But um, this is the one that I'm using, and I have found that this has kind of helped to reduce the amount of um, closed comedones I have. And I'm thinking that this is taking a long time for the closed comedones to go away because I've had them for around two years. So that's like two years of built up closed comedones that I have. Um, so anyways, um, if you have acne scarring, because sometimes like obviously like I still get, you know, acne like that. Um, one thing I have noticed that's a natural product that has helped me is rosehip oil and I have the Cosmia brand one um, I've repurchased this probably like three times um, it lasts a really long time and uh, you don't you don't really need a lot of it um, and at night I use this with um, just like lemon essential oil because vitamin C will help brighten up any scars that you have okay and I wanted to talk about um, some supplements that I'm taking right now and that I've heard are good. Um, so this is kind of like an experimental video and I'm going to keep updating these videos to see if any of these things are working. Um, so the first thing I'm taking, I'm just taking a multivitamin um, just because I feel like as a student, you know, um, I tend to eat really healthy but I feel like sometimes I neglect my diet or, to, I'm, or I'm not eating enough to get all the nutrients in my body. So um, this one just has um, just a bunch of stuff, has like uh, B vitamins, uh, folic acid, has a bit of calcium, um, iron, stuff like that. So this is, I don't, this isn't really going to help with acne, this is just like a supplement I'm taking. But the ones to help with acne, um, I'm taking zinc. I've heard zinc is really good for um, hormonal acne um, or acne in general. And another supplement I'm taking is just a B50 complex vitamin. So this contains all the B vitamins um, and it also contains B12 as well, which a lot of people are deficient in. Um, it also contains folic acid, so I don't know. Should be good. But I heard this is really good for hormonal acne, which is what I think I have, I don't know, if anybody knows what the hell I have, please comment down below because I don't know. Um, and another thing that I'm taking, and I have heard this across the board that this is proven, is taking fish oil supplements. Um, this is just one that I have, um, but 
I haven't I haven't used this. I have something in my fridge called Nutrisy, and it's um, a fish oil supplement that doesn't taste like fish oil. So it tastes it's like has different flavors. You can get it in mango or apple or whatever you want. Um, so I've been taking that a bit more regularly because I've been really bad with my supplements. Okay. Um, so one more thing. Um, I ordered a set from Sephora called Clearogen. And apparently Clearogen will help with my issue. Because I'm start I break out on my cheeks now and my chin, my jaw, and I never used to do that before. So the only thing I can attribute that to is hormonal acne. Um, so hopefully uh, I get that in the mail soon. I ordered it online because I do live in Prince Edward Island, um, which is a province in Canada, um, and we don't have a Sephora near us. So I've heard really great things about this system, and again, if it doesn't work out, uh, Sephora is a really good exchange policy. So hopefully I, uh, I will be able to update you and my skin will clear up because I really... I really don't want anybody else to deal with this issue. It's probably the shittiest thing to deal with. Um, I am so frustrated with having bad skin. I've had bad skin my entire life um, with periods of it clearing up, but I just I just want my acne gone. I want to have clear skin and I don't want to have to wear makeup to cover up my skin because I just, I don't want to have to do that. You know, it's an extra step. I don't want to have to take in my day. Um, I want to be able to like glow from the inside out. So. Um, yeah, if anybody has gone through this, please, like, give me some type of advice because I'm not too sure. And I'm hoping that through my journey and if I learn anything from what I'm doing or the supplements that I'm taking, if I see any improvement, the whole purpose is for me to get back to you with that information. And another thing, drink lots of water. I've been trying to drink, like, a liter when I wake up because I like my coffee and I need to drink more water because I need to get rid of this issue that I have. So um, I'm really sorry that this video was shit. I, I know it was, but I just needed to get this out there and um, my other videos will be a little bit more polished and organized in the future. Um, but if you have skin issues, I feel you. I get it. It's horrible. You don't even have to tell me how shitty it is. Anyways, um, hopefully things improve. So I'll see you later with an update.